Hi, Kesha here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In this video, let's see the difference between map and flat map functions in PySpark. So if you take map function, it applies the transformation on each row. I would say that on each element in the data frame or data set and returns new transformed data set. The new transformed data set will have same number of elements as the data set we passed as input for the map function. So if you take flat map, it's more or less same as map function. It also applies the transformation on each element or row in a data set or data frame and returns new transformed data set. But the new transformed data set might have same number of elements as input data set or it might have more number of elements than the given data set. All right. Post applying the transformation through flat map, a written data set might have same number of elements or more number of elements than the input data set. All right. Let's see with example, I have the source file, uh, this product sales. I just, you know, imported and created one data frame here. I want to apply the transformation on this product description by using map as well as flat map and we'll see the difference. Okay. The transformation is I want to split product description at the space. This is a data frame which already I just created. So let me apply the transformation by using map and flat map on this data frame. All right. I'm going to write new RDD. I'm going to just say RDD one DF dot RDD dot map. Let me use map function first and here lambda x dot i want only product description let me go for product description and i want to split it at space wherever space is there i want to split product description all right so i'm gonna just say rdd one dot collect let's see the output that's it it's lambda so it should work all right so with map I just split my uh, product description. See the first uh, product. It has got detergent product first product description detergent. It doesn't have uh, you know second value. So it's just only one element on the output also one element. The second element if you take kitchen roll, it got split into kitchen and roll, but still output is only one element. The same element as given as output. All right. In the same way bin liner so the number of elements the number of elements in the written data set and the data set that i given as input are same all right now same thing let me just split by using flat map let's see same transformation i'm just applying through flat map let me just copy paste same and here i'm gonna just use flat map all right, so let me see the outcome. All right, see here detergent. This element is only one. The input is one and output also one. If you take second element kitchen roll. Now let's see. See, it became two elements now kitchen and roll. Uh, the description got split at space. Yeah, if you look at this, see both has written a uh, new RDD. Only difference is map as applied the transformation. It has written same number of elements in the written data set. Whereas through flat map, new data set has created, but the number of elements in the new data set are more than the input data set. All right. That's it. This is the main difference between map and um, flat map transformation. In case if you got the requirement to uh, split into multiple elements, then you can go for a flat map. If you don't have such requirement and if you want to apply the transformation and you want to return same element not to be doubled or not to be tripled, then you can go for map function. All right. So based on your business requirement, you can use either map or flat map. All right. Thanks for watching my video. We'll meet again with a different concept. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.